Okay, spring 2011, number 10. This is uh, an optimization question based off of a cylindrical barrel. So we need a cylinder, and the cylinder has a top and a bottom, and the top and the bottom, to make it cost different than the, than the sides. We have this radius, R, we have a height, H, and the volume is set. Not just 32, but 32 pi. The formula for the volume of a cylinder is pi, R squared, H. And so these two have to be equal to each other. It, that's, there's no wavering there. It has to be that. 32 pi has to equal pi r squared h. Pi's cancel out. 32 has to equal r squared times h. Let's just save that. This is our constraint. What are we trying to maximize or minimize? Find the height of the barrel that can be constructed at a minimum cost. So we need a cost equation. We want to minimize cost. Cost, the unit is in dollars. These, these prices that we have here, these prices that we have here are um, cost per square foot. So what happens is you take the cost per square foot and you multiply it by square feet. So there's this price per square foot and then this is area. Okay. And there's different parts. There's the sides and there's the up, uh, top and bottom. Okay. So here we go. Cost is equal to um, the side is three dollars, so the cost is three dollars per square foot. What is the area of the side? What happens? Just think of picturing slicing a label on a can and unrolling it. You get a rectangle, and when you unroll it, the the circumference would be what happens to give you the length. circumference uh, 2 pi r and then the height stays as the uh, as the height so the area then of the side is 2 pi r h but also we have the top and bottom which are both circles and it costs more it costs six dollars And so um, the area is pi r squared. There's circles, the top and bottom, circles, radius r. But, um, but, but there's two of them, so we just double it. There's only one lateral side. Okay, so this is the formula, and this is your multivariable formula. It's uh, 6 pi r h plus 12 pi r squared. We go to the constraint to make it single variable. In the constraint, we can solve for h or r squared. Uh, let's solve for h, though, because h only appears here once. r squared appears here, and r appears, so we'd have to do something strange like a square root. Take the 32 and divide it by r squared. That's what h is. Has to be by our constraint. Take that and plug it in. Replace the h in your cost equation. You'll have 6 pi r now times 32 over r squared. And then the 12 pi r squared as well. Okay, so now we are at a single variable equation.
and we're on our way. Um, this is our function. Uh, this R cancel with one of these R's. If we take and do 32 times 6, that's 192 pi. For uh, Make it easier to take the derivative. We go with R to the negative 1. And then 12 pi R squared. And this is your single variable ready to take the derivative cost equation based only on the radius at this point you take the derivative set equal to zero you also need to prove that you have minimized cost you have to answer the questions being asked you have to actually find the height um, I think that's enough for for now this is the setup and I'll let you take it from there